Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in to today's uh, fourth and final video. We're going to have a look at weather for the 10 to 14 days for today's final video. Day 10 will take us to the 22nd of November. And uh, we'll be able to extend out beyond that with the XRG FS and ECM ensembles. They run around a couple of weeks. Have a look at CFS V2 at the end of the video for the next four weeks. That'll get us into the early part of December and I shall get something back for you in a moment just to say that the first video release was our 6am upload we've also released weekend forecast and if that wasn't enough uh, the ECM WF uh, 42 day slash six weeks will okay. so please like share subscribe on the video and thank you so very much everyone for doing that uh, right then uh, we're going to begin with the latest temperature observations from XC weather, exceptionally mild afternoon. Look, it's got 18 degrees flashing away there uh, across uh, North Alt. We're at 18, and we're also at 18 degrees at Yeovilton. Wow, wow, wow. Boscombe Downs at 17, Southampton at 17. Forney at 16, going a little bit further north. Luton is at 14, Cranfield at 15, Church Lawful at 14. Wellsbourne at 16, um, Shopton, a little bit cooler, 12 degrees there, Wittering at 14, then we go further north to Doncaster, 13 degrees there, 12, 11 degrees at Bingley, 12 degrees at Leeds and Bradford, 13 at Leeming, uh, 11 at Walcott, 12 at Estelle Muir, Germalbin at 12 degrees, and uh, Aviemore actually quite cool, 9 degrees there, and Belfast at 14 to Wales, we've got Lake Burnley at 10, Sunny Bridge at 13, uh, and down southwest in Northwick at 13 degrees. So it's exceptionally mild across the south of the country, a uh, mild to very mild elsewhere. This is going to carry on tomorrow. We'll back tomorrow. It might be a degree or so warmer than today in one or two places. At the outside, we could possibly get to 19 or uh, degrees or so. So really, really uh, mild weekend. Then temperatures are going to lower quite uh, significantly into next week. Not cold, but it is going to uh, return back to average with the temperature next week. More about that in the weekend forecast. Obviously, all of this is having an effect on CT. So the uh, central in temperature is currently sitting at 10.6, which is now over four, 4 degrees above average. Uh, which is provisional to yesterday to the 11th of November. That's going to carry on going up, I think. In fact, I do wonder whether by Monday we might be into the 11s with that. Wouldn't that be remarkable if we're into the 11s uh, by Monday? But as I say, after that, I think it will come down, you know, quite significantly uh, over the uh, over the next week. Not just going to be cold, but even just like average days uh, that we're going to get uh, next week. It's going to have quite a significant impact, given that we are so far four degrees uh, above average. So I reckon we'll see that coming down into the nines and maybe in, into the eights um, by the time we arrive at the final week of November. It's going to be a milder than average month, though, very significantly so. And uh, we shall wait and see, you know, we shall wait and see where we end up with that. Right, let's get rid of that. Uh, okay, uh, these are the GFS upper air temperature and substation ensembles for the next couple of weeks. So the red line is above our year upper air temperature average for commentary. You see what's going on at the moment. We're very, very substantially above average at a summer-like level in terms of the 850 HPA temperature anyway. 10 degrees. Um, that carries on for the rest of this weekend. So we've got another day or so of this to go. And then we return back close to the average. We open up next week. And by being middle to that part of next week, actually, I have us a slightly below average. And then just hovering very close to the long term. 30-year average, really, as we go through the final week or so of the month. Also, going to get more unsettled, so we're starting off very dry at the moment, of course, through this weekend. Early next week, we'll see a change with some shower rain push across the country, and after that, regular rainfall spikes right way to the end of the ensemble. It does look as though things will be significantly wetter in the second half of the month. Temperature anomalies on the 12th to the 20th of November going to be above average for all parts of Europe, UK, including um, temperature anomalies on the 12th to the 20th of November, wetter than average in the north and west, so a little bit drier than average in the south east corner, I expect these to trend wetter in the next few days. 
latest win for a match from EarthNostool.net shows we've got low pressure in the Atlantic just there. We've got high pressure across uh, much of Europe. I'm so sorry, buddy. And we're drawing up a win from a southerly direction. So, southerly, remember, southerly's in July. Gave us 40 degrees. They're back. Um, <laughs> it's November now, so it's not going to be 40 degrees, but it could be like 18, 19, 20 uh, this weekend. Anyway, if we drag this up, we can see where the air originates from. So, out to our west, we bring the air up from the Canary. Canary Islands and um, further eastwards, we like bringing the air up from North Africa, Mediterranean, wafting up in that direction. So, um, <laughs> you know, it's a very, very uh, mild spell of weather. But by the time we get but 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 by the time we get through to uh, midnight on Tuesday, the low pressure is breaking down. This southerly bring wet and windy weather in from off the Atlantic, and uh, that will have a lowering effect on the temperature. That's Wednesday. You see, wind has gone into us. We cut off the southerly, and uh, we bring the air in from off the Atlantic. Technically, that would be a mild wind direction. We would be normally saying, you know, but that's quite mild. <laughs> but it's just um, degrees of mildness. Uh, really, and that's like going to be maybe a little bit above average, close to normal, you know, which will be significantly cooler compared to the current exceptional level of warmth. Another deep low there, uh, for, um, Wednesday to Thursday, that could bring a real soaker parts of the south and some gales as well, but potentially we have a middle part of the week. And then into the second half of the week, we just keep those west seas coming really, so it remains um, rather changeable, certainly showery, into uh, next weekend. I can't. <laughs> Looks like that low pressure out west. High pressure to the east, bringing up those southerlies again. Uh, but cutting the margin, you know, turning wet, windy, so turning cooler, wetter, windier, etc., etc., as we go uh, through the middle and second half of next week. Um, that's how we're going to get to the end of the icon run, the next low, waiting wings there, midday Saturday, ready to bring uh, the next bout of wet and windy weather sweeping in. From off the Atlantic, the GFS midnight run, uh, once more, all much of much, is low pressure heading in from off the Atlantic through Tuesday to Wednesday, lots of wet weather, cutting off southerly wind and turning things significantly cooler, wet and windy there into the second half next week as well, and the low pressure keeps coming as we go into next weekend. Notice heights are building up over Scandinavia and uh, northwestern parts of Russia, which is slowing down, decelerating these areas of low pressure and their weather fronts as they come in from off the Atlantic Ocean. So potentially a very wet spell is setting up here uh, over the next week to 10 days. Now, what happens in the extended range with this GFS midnight row is that eventually the Atlantic runs out of steam and the high pressure, which is a big high pressure, 1,050 millibar there, sitting across western Russia, that starts to take over the weather pattern. And look at this, we eventually, by the end of the GFS midnight run, start pulling in easterly winds as high pressure from uh, Russia is extending to uh, Scandinavia. That's like the Siberian high. We don't see that uh, very often, but that's like the proper Siberian high and it's extending in from uh, Russia into Scandinavia to follow the isobars back. Um, you know, quite a long fetch easterly is beginning to uh, push in there uh, across Europe. I don't think there's all that much in way of cold air because of all of the earlier warmth. So the upgrade temperatures aren't impressively cold, but they are certainly a lot colder than we've had, um, you know, at any point really since last winter. Um, so uh, you would feel that easily if that did come off. You would start to feel that. It might even bring a few wintry showers onto the eastern coastal areas by month's end. GFS 6Z uh, looks like this. Again, we come back Tuesday. Wet and windy weather sweeping in across the uh, country. And uh, more unsettled weather through the second half next week with further bouts of wind and rain. That looks particularly stormy next weekend with the GFS 6Z. Uh, gale force winds, heavy rain. Lashing the country and whatnot. Up to day 10. Uh, low pressure keeps coming, so a real onslaught with the GFS 6 said. Lots of bouts of rain sweeping in from off the Atlantic there. Into the extended range, west seas continue. Further bouts of wet to weather. Notice no sign of <laughs> that uh, Scandinavian slash Siberian high on the GFS 6 said. It's uh, centred over Russia there and, and not having any impact on us whatsoever on this GFS run. 
just tells you how the Jeff S is alternating from run to run. That's how we can get to the end of the Jeff S 6 z which gets us to uh, Monday, 28th of November, and uh, we're still flat as a pancake with winds coming in from off the Atlantic Ocean there. If you enjoyed the video, please give you a like, share, subscribe. Thank you so much for doing that. We've got to put on around another 65 subscribers now to get to 14.8k. So uh, please give us a sub. Tell friends and family to subscribe. I and mean, we thank you so very much for doing that. GM, now, once more, we went when you were sweeping in from Alpha Anti on Tuesday into Wednesday, very unsettled Thursday. Friday, more areas of road pressure, more spells of rain looking properly unsettled. Their internet's weekend, road pressure keeps coming, further bouts of wet and windy weather sweeping through the country all the way up to day 10. The GEM looking very unsettled. And then the ECM WF looks like this. So again, on uh, choosing to Wednesday, further spells of rain. Lots and lots of wet and windy weather to come. Deep low pressure there from Wednesday to Thursday. Could bring gale force winds and heavy rain to England and Wales in particular. And then we go into the second half next week. We keep it unsettled. The next row rattling through sometime next week. Can bring further gale force winds and heavy rain potentially. And all the way up to day 10. Yes, the next area of low is bearing down on us there. 22nd of November, day 10. Looking properly wet and windy once more. Goodness gracious me. Uh, this is the precipitation forecast based on that ECM run from Tometio.com. Initially dry, but the first band of rain, which does turn patchy, news across the country on Monday. And then, 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 we're in for a proper old wet spell. That Tuesday, uh, heavy, slow moving outbreaks of rain pushing across the country. Showers, longer like spells of rain, could be covered by gale force winds. Wednesday into Thursday, and then further showers and uh, longer spells of rain into the end week. The weekend brings this next batch of wet and windy weather across the country as well. And uh, further wet weather bearing down on us by day 10. Uh, an onslaught here, an onslaught pattern from the Atlantic. These are the options on the table within the ECM ensembles today for day 10. Which will, get to, which will get us to 22nd of November. 17 members of the ECM ensembles with deep road pressure in the Atlantic, looking very wet and uh, unsettled with that. 16, again, load pressure over country, very unsettled with that. Well, nine, load pressure out to west, coming in from off the Atlantic, with some high pressure over Scandinavia. That does include the operation run. And then we've got nine just here again with high pressure towards Scandinavia, low pressure to the south and west. Um, they're very unsettled. They're all very unsettled. All those options are very unsettled with low pressure in control, really. In two weeks' time, these are the options that we've got. This one will get us to the 27th of November. 18 members of the ECM on some of keep the low pressure coming. Again, looking very unsettled with that. There is high pressure blocking to the north, and that's possibly the same injection a bit further southwards. So, certainly for northern east, that could start to turn a bit colder with winds coming in from more of an easterly direction. Uh, 18, just looking very wet, unsettled, relatively mild. Um, and then we've got 15 just here with low pressure to the northwest, high pressure to the southwest. We have got high pressure to the northeast as well. So the two highs are kind of ridging together uh, in some way. That's possibly turning more settled and cyclonic uh, with a little bit of grease and juice. Rotten um, fog, maybe, by months end. To be honest, I think it's going to be a very unsettled second half of November. I think it's going to be a wetter than average November as well. So that'll be quite interesting. Uh, you know, when we get to months end, see how wet it's been. Lastly, the CFSB 2 piece of 500 millibar high tolerance breakdown into week periods. So the first week period is going to take us from the 12th to the 18th of November. The coming week will have lots and lots of low pressure to the west. High pressure will be to the east. So, uh, yeah, we're looking really unsettled there. And also, of course, initially very warm. Week 2 is going to be the 19th, 25th of November. Low pressure is in control of the weather again. And uh, so that's another very unsettled week to come. Week 3 <laughs> is going to be the 26th of um, November, 2nd of December. Low pressure is out to our west. High pressure is blocking uh, now to the northeast, but we're not cold because the high pressure is kind of ridging 
uh, down to our south as well. So uh, the upshot is we still, despite the blocking, keep the wind in from the west or south westerly direction. And then week four is quite interesting because this is the third to the ninth of December with like Scandinavian high and high pressure centered towards Walmart. Um with low pressure out to the west. But you have also got high pressure down on Spain, so very competing sort of forcing factors. The high pressure to the northeast of course wants to bring in easterly winds. Um, the low pressure in the Atlantic and, and the high pressure of Spain may want to keep the wind in from the west. So that looks very conflicting, doesn't it? And it would be interesting to, uh, you know, interesting to ponder maybe which way that will go. Would the high pressure scare win the battle or would it be like the, the, the westerlies? Would it be the low pressure combined with high pressure around Spain that uh, will win, that will win there? It's four weeks away, so it's not really worth worrying about in any case. Right, we're done. If you enjoyed the video, please do you like, share, and subscribe. And thank you so very much, everyone, for doing that. Why not drop a comment? Let us know what you think about this and all of our videos. And don't forget to tell your friends about Gals Worth Vids. Get them to subscribe too. If everyone who gives us a sub brings a friend, we're going to get to our target of 15,000 subscribers, maybe by Christmas. Wouldn't that be exciting if we could do that? Because. Uh, we're going to give away an Amazon voucher, dum dum dum, um, when we hit 15k. And I would love to be able to give that away before Christmas, and you know, people do a little bit of Christmas shopping at uh, Amazon and uh, whatnot, courtesy of Gaz but we've got to get 15k first of all. In any case, thank you so much, everybody, for all of the support and for getting us this far. Right, just so it's coming up tomorrow. So you're going to start off with the 6 a.m. upload. And we've got the 11th, I think it is. Yes, 11th. Uh, with uh, update coming up. We've got Enso Analogs, landing your analogs uh, ahead for that one. And uh, we'll also have a Christmas update as well. The fourth instalment, I think, of Christmas Countdown will be released um, tomorrow evening. You enjoy the rest of your uh, Saturday. I'll be working on Winter Update from now onwards. You enjoy the rest of your Saturday. And for this one, that's all for now. And thanks for watching.